Hello everyone, Jacob Macias with Backflip Photo. Today I have a Low Pro bag. It is one of their newest bags. It is the Photosport BP 300 AW version 2. Now, I bought this bag originally to replace a tool in my lineup. It is my sling pack. I love that bag. Uh, when I go to a city and I'm just going to be carrying maybe two lenses with me, that's great. I take it all the time. But I recently discovered that it is not the right tool when you are carrying more than six pounds or you're going for multiple days and you're gonna be wearing the pack day in day out. Um, I went to a trip in Texas and it was a four day trip. And what I took with me was all of my lenses. I have um, the uh, 1635, the 7200 and the 2470. I took all of them. I took my body, I took a flash, I took batteries for my flash, I took backup batteries for my camera, the charger, everything fit in the sling pack. That wasn't the issue, although it was busting at the seams. The issue was after two days, it only holds itself on this one shoulder. So at two days, it was digging in and by day four, I didn't even want to use my camera anymore, which is never a good thing. So. I decided at the end of that trip that when I got home, before I went to my Bryce Canyon trip, I was going to buy myself a pack that had two shoulder pa um, two shoulder straps. Uh, I already own a Low Pro um, Trekker 450, and that carries everything I want, but it is huge, and I'm not going to carry that. It, it weighs 60 pounds with all the gear I can put in it. So I needed something lightweight that would carry enough gear to get me through a five-day week and that it would uh, alleviate the pain on my shoulders. So I'll, I went with this guy. And it has all the features I was looking for, the two shoulder pads that even had um, some uh, chest strap as well as a waist strap. So already we're looking much better um, than my sling pack for sure. But it even had some other features that I wasn't looking for. And it ultimately swayed me to buying this pack. So let me just break this open show you what the features are, why I chose it, and maybe it's the right pack for you too. Uh, to start, we have a pretty large size pocket in the front. I guess that could be for a uh, knapsack or a uh, jacket, something like that. Um, we do have two elastic straps and then some, uh, looks like nylon lanyards at the bottom. And those are for trekking poles, I believe, that you can um, use. I don't really use those yet, but I'll, I'll see about those maybe later. All right, now on the top, I guess we'll start here. There is a pocket in the top. It looks like I could drop a cell phone wallet, some, some keys. I don't see a key strap in this one, so something like that in the top. It's not too big, but, you know, some batteries, something like that would definitely fit in there. <clears throat> now on the very top, we have a... Very large drawstring pocket. Um, it's pretty deep. I don't know if you can really see in there, but um, let's see what we got in here. Oop, tied up on my mic. Um, yeah, again, no key strap. I was just looking to see where they expect me to put my keys. Um, there is a small mesh, tight mesh pocket, I should say, and that would be good for something you want to keep nice and flat. Um, I don't think you can put a tablet in there, even a, s a small one. Um, cell phone would fit, keys would fit, uh, wallet would fit. It's nice. Um, but in the in, in the main pocket here, this is pretty good. Um, that's pretty good space. I could probably put my shoes in there. I have a size 12. Yeah, I could definitely put some shoes in there, a large, larger jacket. Uh, that's good though, because uh, you know I can put some lunch in there. Um, definitely put uh, my 7200 in there. Not that I don't think I ever would, but that fits, huh? Okay. So 7200 fits in there. I probably fit three or four of those across. So um, gives you an idea of just how large uh, that is based on that lens. That's nice. All right, so let's move along. Uh, some straps for that. So on the back of this is a 
set of straps, undo those, um, undo the zipper, and there's a pouch here. And what this pouch is for, that is for um, a hydration pack. You can put a hydration pack, I think it'll hold up to two liters. Put a hydration pack in there. It has a little, uh, a little hole that you can put the, uh, the mouthpiece through and then attach it to your shoulder strap. So that's awesome because I always need water when I'm using a pack specifically like this. So um, a hydration pack is a pretty unique thing, especially on a um, camera bag. So pretty cool, right? Pretty nifty. Um, now this is what they call their active zone suspension. Um, I've already put this on my back. Feels pretty good. I need to weigh it down, of course, and try again. But um, the uh, active zone suspension, just something else makes you think that they're thinking about uh, your back and how it interacts with your back. I believe it will stay pretty cool with all these crevices um, and sweat free, hopefully, because uh, that always gets pretty nasty when you have this bag that's sitting on your back causing you to sweat. Um, now, on the front, uh, like I said, there are some waist straps. Uh, now, the waist straps uh, are cool because they feature some pockets. Um, put some change in there, maybe your wallet, cell phone, um, uh, your remote for your camera, something like that. It's great, some extra batteries. Just some extra pockets that, that who knows what you want to put in there, but they're there and why not? Uh, on the bottom is the uh, rain cover. You pull that out. It's already weather resistant. Put that on there and it's good for sand and, and rain. Um, now let's see. Now the whole reason why you buy the pack, right, is for the ability to store your camera. So that's right here. Now. What is unique about this one that I haven't seen on another camera pack is that there's a cinch system. So the cinch system, what you do is you pull this tight and there's some drawstrings in there that will collapse around uh, this, this foam pad that's in here that will collapse around your lenses, your camera, whatever you put in there. And then you buckle it off so you can get it pretty tight. And what that allows you to do is be more active or at least um, keeps everything close to your back or, or tight against the pack so that when you move, it doesn't move independently. Everything's nice and tight. So when you go hiking or you want to be athletic, running around, biking, it's not going to move around, which is a good thing. So to get into it, let's check it out. Let's undo that and we open it up. Um, right away, you see we've got two uh, memory card slots. They're just the elastic over the lip. They've been doing that for a couple years now. Uh, now on the inside, you can see I've got some dividers. I can pull those apart. I'm not sure how exactly I'm going to set it up yet, but let's do the lens test. Now this is a very large 7200. All right, we're, we're maxing out with the 7200 here. Um, it will definitely shut. Um, it's just on the inside of those seams, and I'm not too worried about it. It looks like there is some padding here, so uh, I'm not too worried about it bumping around. Of course, my 1640 would fit in there with plenty of room. Um, now, with those in there, I don't really have a whole lot of room for my, for my, um, my, my body, my body with my lens. So I'm wondering how I'm going to set this up, because this is my, my normal uh, lens setup. I'll have my... 7200, my 1635, my 2470, and a body. Um, body attached to the lens, that would probably fit in here. I would probably put my 7200 in there and then put my 60, my 1635 up top. Yeah, I could do that. Um, it's not ideal, so there's not a whole lot of room in there, but it would definitely fit a body and another lens. Um, um, and it would even fit you know, body and a flash, anything else. So body and an accessory, whether it be a lens, a flash, whatever you want. Um, that's pretty cool. Wanted it a little bit bigger. I'd like to keep uh, my lenses uh, secured and protected in the foam pad that that is in here. But I guess it's not terrible that I would have to put it up top. It does have a foam bottom, so. One thing it looks like you got to worry about is that it's not attached. It looks like it's not sewn 
to this jacket so you can actually slip something all the way down. So if you're not careful, I bet, yeah, your lens could fall all the way down inside and then just kind of rest down here. It's not bad, it's just there's no protection down here at all. It's just uh, the canvas outside, a couple layers of this nylon. All right, so um, this is the larger bag. This is the largest of the photo sports that they carry, so there's no going up from there. Uh, now the one below this one, I think it's a 200 or 250, that is marketed towards uh, uh, mirrorless cameras. So who knows if you can actually put a DSLR in there and another lens. Um, uh, but this is the largest they had. This is already going to be way better than my sling pack for sure. Um, don't care. Don't even need to. Don't even need to think twice about that one. This is great. Um, so those are the couple extra features that they had and some other. Uh, breakdowns of this the the water reservoir the waist straps the chest straps somewhere here we go chest straps uh, everything's gonna help keep that weight off of your shoulders it'll put you on your hips close it in tighter and it'll it it, it, it will make a big difference when you are out and about if you are going to carry weight for an extended amount of time you don't want a sling pack get a get a bag even even a shoulder bag you know um shoulder bag that sits down there i'd imagine would be even worse but um you want to eliminate the weight off of your shoulders so um that's just a um, more thorough breakdown of this bag i noticed there weren't too many uh reviews or uh insights into this bag when i was making my purchase i'll do some uh, infield tests in a couple weeks when i go to my bryce canyon uh trip and i'll let you guys know how it really works so there it is the low pro bp 300 aw version 2 photo sport bag it's an active bag it's going to be good and be sure to uh, subscribe to my channel to see the rest of my reviews for this bag take care